Today I'm uh, recording a song that Justin Timberlake and his friend Matt wrote for me. <laughs> the only promise that remains. Um, we couldn't think of a longer song title, so we went with that one. <laughs> and it's a beautiful Celtic love song, and here we are, St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, 2007. My mom and daddy's anniversary and my sister Alice's anniversary. So it's a, a very sweet love song that they wrote for me. And how this all came about, I was doing the television show Reba, Joanna Garcia, who plays Cheyenne. My best friend um, dates uh, a girl that... <laughs> You're gonna have to diagram this out. My best friend dates a girl that is on the show with Reba and uh, Joanna Garcia. And she's also a good friend of mine as well. And she approached me and said, you know, Reba's doing another album. And I immediately said, well, man, that'd be amazing and totally unexpected if somebody like myself could work with somebody like that. Joanna looked around and said, well, you ought to get Justin Timberlake to do the duet project with you. And I said, yeah, right, like he'd do that. She said, oh, he's a big fan. He's country boy. He's from Memphis, Tennessee. So I said, well, ask Trace to ask him. And he said, yeah. Uh, when I finally got a chance, you could, as you could, you can pan over to my friend Matt. We were. Uh, that was a great pan, wasn't it? <laughs> it was really, really solid. And pan back to me. Oh, wait, no. uh, oh whoa, whoa hey! We sat down together and 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 kind of wrote, kind of wrote. We wrote this song for uh, for Reba in mind, and and this is where the story gets funny. So I call her that night, and she's at dinner with Narvel, and. Uh, uh, I called her through Joanna. I was over at uh, Joanna's house, and I said, "We wrote this song for Reba, and it's great, and it's beautiful, and she's gonna love it." And so we call her, and I'm like, "I, I wrote this, you know, we wrote the song for you," and uh, and she's like, "Okay, great." And you could tell <laughs> the apprehension in her voice because I'm sure she didn't know what to expect. She's because, like, is it, is it, she's thinking, "Is it a dance song?" Yeah, is my it? music isn't me and Reba. Um, we don't have similar music uh, uh, recorded. Uh, so, um, but I am from Tennessee and I grew up on country music, so we, we kind of crafted this song for her in mind and, and so I said, can we meet you at the studio tomorrow and, and, and we, we went to the studio and... and after the Grammys, he came over while Leanne Rimes and I were recording in L.A. and he played me the song. Matt sang it and, and uh, I fell in love with it. My voice was shot, so Matt played and sang the song for her. And uh, it was it was it was awesome because she sat down and she had this look like, what is about to happen? And we're sitting there and, and Matt just kind of played her the song and the song was over. She just she sat there for a minute. There was like a moment <laughs> of silence where everybody and it was just kind of like. You saw her. She's listening to the song and her eyes would get a little bigger. Like we yeah. started playing and there was this apprehension in her face, but then her expression got like her smile got a little bigger and her eyes got a little bigger. Yes. Yeah, so. And. Uh, Turns out she liked it. Turns out she thought that it didn't suck. And today here we are in Nashville recording it because Justin just got through playing the arena here in Nashville last night, went to the show, it was wonderful. And we're here at Starstruck Studios recording it today. You put amazing players in a room together and amazing things happen, so. It's true. And she sounds beautiful yeah, already. She's so she's about to record some, some vocals. When you're down 